welcome back in our last class we have already gained a good knowledge on ones complement arithmetic where we added and subtracted two binary numbers using ones complement arithmetic in today's class we will be adding or subtracting two numbers using two's complement representation and how to find two's complement of a given number and how to represent in two's complement form that we have already learned in one of our classes so you can always go through those classes as reference so let's start today's class with the algorithm first now the first step as we know as we have learned in case of one's complement representation also that first we find or evaluate the value of n and this is the relationship or this is the formula that we follow where 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1 should be always greater than or equal to a b and a plus b or a minus b the operation that we are performing where we know a and b these are two given numbers now suppose we are adding 3 and 5 so 3 plus 5 if we do then what will be our result of addition it will be 8 fine so here in the bracket we will have a suppose 3 and b is 5 and a plus b is 8 and if we subtract then the result of subtraction if suppose we are subtracting 5 from 3 then it will be minus 2 or if we are subtracting 3 from 5 then we will be plus 2 but the mod value the modulus value will be always true the positive value so here we have either 3 5 8 that combination or 3 5 2 that combination now we have to see that how much will be n value now suppose if we choose n is equal to 4 then as per this formula it will be 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 then we will have minus 1 so it will be 2 cube 2 cube means 8 8 minus 1 it is 7 now what are our numbers if suppose we are adding then 3 plus 5 it will be 8 so if we take n is equal to 4 then we cannot accommodate 8 because the maximum decimal number that we can represent by when we will take n is equal to 4 is 7 but if we subtract then n is equal to 4 is okay but when we will be adding it will be more than 4 in value now suppose if we take n is equal to 5 then let's see so it will be 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1 then minus 1 so it will be 2 raised to the power 4 and that means it will be 16 16 minus 1 it is 15 so when we are adding 3 plus 8 then we can see here that if we take n is equal to 5 then 15 is greater than 3 5 and 8 so our evaluated value of n will be in this case 5 now after evaluating the value of n the next step as we know first we in case of ones complement we need to find the ones complement representation of the given numbers so here we are applying two's complement method two's complement arithmetic we are doing so first we have to find ones complement representation of both the numbers and then we have to find the two's complement representation of both the numbers now as we know that in case of positive number the sign magnitude one's complement and two's complement representation all are same so if one of the numbers or both the numbers are positive then we don't have to bother much but if it is a negative number then we have to find the two's complement representation by following the rules that we know that we have already learned in one of our classes now after finding two's complement representation of both the given numbers what we do is next we perform the binary addition that we were supposed to do between a and b now after performing the binary addition what we will do is we will check the carry the way we did for one's complement arithmetic as well in case of one's complement arithmetic if the carry is generated then we add that carry with the lsb of that result of addition but here in case of two's complement arithmetic if there is any carry if the carry is generated then we simply discard that carry we don't go for any more addition with the lsb so just remember this difference now after discarding or ignoring the carry what we do is we check the remaining bits that we have as the result of addition then among those bits we check the msb if the msb is zero then as the normal rule that we know zero means msb is zero means the the number is positive so here the answer the result of addition will be positive and 
it is in the true form the way we have seen in case of once complement arithmetic also but if the msb is one then answer is negative and it is in two's complement form in case of one's complement arithmetic when we found that the msb is one means the value is negative then we found one's complement value or form of that result of addition in case of two's complement form what we will do if the msb is one means if the answer is negative then it is in two's complement form so we will find the two's complement value of that result of addition so this algorithm will be more clear when we will solve a few examples the first example that we have chosen here is addition of one positive and one negative number so here eight is our positive number and nine is our negative number that we are going to add so as per the algorithm that just now we have learned what we do at the first step we find the value of n now in the decimal number system if we perform this addition what will be the result of addition it will be minus one so we have to focus on this number that they are positive values one eight and nine and we will be choosing the value of in such a way that this formula this value 2 raised to the power n minus 1 minus 1 should be greater than equal to 1 8 and 9 so let's choose say n is equal to 4 if we first choose this value then as per this formula it will be 2 then 4 minus 1 then here minus 1 so it will be how much 2 cube means 8 minus 1 it is 7 so it is not getting satisfied as we have 8 and 9 so it cannot accommodate it cannot accommodate beyond 7 now the next value of n we can choose is 5 and if we choose then it will be 2 raised to the power 5 minus 1 here and then minus 1 here right so it will be 2 and then power 4 means it will be 16 and then minus 1 so it will be finally 15 15 is more than 1 8 and 9 that means if we choose n is equal to 5 then it can accommodate all these numbers so in the first step that first step is done and n is in this problem particular problem n is equal to 5 now next step is to find one's complement and two's complement of both the numbers now we have to represent both the numbers by using five bits so here we will we will add one more bit but what will be that value here that bit will be the msb and uh, since the number is positive so here msb will be zero so this is our complete representation of plus eight and we know in case of positive number two's complement representation is same as sine magnitude representation now we will represent minus nine in two's complement form so for that we will start with plus nine as we know so for plus nine this is the binary representation so it is one zero zero one and since this time also we will be representing by using five bits so here we will have one more bit and what will be that value since we are representing here also for positive number plus nine so here the msb will be zero again now of that positive number of that plus nine we will find one's complement first so it will be one zero then one one zero next we will find two's complement as per the algorithm and that is the rule so here the two's complement will be zero plus one it will be one then we'll set forward the remaining bits will remain same so this is the two's complement value next what we will do we will perform the binary addition so here for plus eight it is zero one zero 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 and for the two's complement representation of minus nine that is one zero one 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 now we will perform the addition so zero plus one here we will have one again zero plus one here we will have one zero plus one 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 plus zero here we will have one zero plus one we will have one here and we will not have any carry so since there is no carry so we don't have to bother otherwise would, we would have discarded that carry but we have to check here that what is the value of the msb now here the value of msb is one and that signifies that the result of addition is negative and at the same time as per the algorithm we know that the result will be negative 
plus the result of addition which is represented by the remaining bits that is actually in two's complement form and from that two's complement form if we want to really get the real value of that addition then what we have to do is we have to find the two's complement value of that result of addition so from 1111 if we first take the one's complement value then it will be 0 0 0 0 and from this one's complement value if we now want to have the two's complement value then if what it will be we have to add one with that one's complement value so it will be one zero 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 so this is the value this is the this is the result of addition and we know that result of addition is negative so what will the final value it will be minus and zero 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 one is what in decimal number system it is one only that means the final result of addition will be negative sign that we have already evaluated and from here the value in the decimal number system will be minus one so this is how using two's complement form we add one positive and one negative number now next we will add two negative numbers so here again as first step we will find the value of n by using this formula now if we take n is equal to 6 then it will be for 6 it will be 2 raised to the power 5 then minus 1 so it will be 32 minus 1 so it is 31 31 is uh, greater than 8 9 and 17 that means for this particular problem where we are adding these two negative numbers the value of n will be 6 now next what we have to do next we have to find the once complement form or once complement representation of this both the negative numbers because since here both the numbers are negative so we have to start with their positive values first and then we have to find once complement followed by two's complement representation so for both the negative numbers we will start from their corresponding positive numbers so for plus eight it will be one zero 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 but here value of n is equal to 6 so we have to add two more bits on the left side now msb will be what since we are we are finding the binary equivalent for positive decimal number plus 8 here so msb will be 0 for positive number and here this bit will be also 0 so from this value first we have to find the ones complement representation or ones complement value so here it will be 1 one zero then one 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 and then from here we have to find the two's complement so it will be one plus one it will be zero then we will have carry one then one plus one it will be one zero so here we will have zero then we will have carry one so here we will have zero then we will have carry one then zero plus one it will be one and the remaining two bits will be also one one so this is the two's complement representation of minus eight and similar approach we will apply for finding the two's complement representation of minus nine so we will start with plus nine the same rule first one's complement so it will be one one zero then one one zero and then we have to find two's complements so this will be two's complement representation of minus nine now what we will do in the next step we will perform the binary addition so zero plus one it will be one no carry zero plus one it will be one no carry zero plus one 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 plus zero it will be one one plus one it will be one zero one zero means at the place of sum we will have zero there will be one carry which will be forwarded to the next significant bit now 1 plus 1 it will be 1 0 and 1 0 plus 1 it will be 1 1 so here in the in the position of sum we will have 1 in the position of carry we will have also 1 as this was the last or most significant bit now what we do as per the algorithm if there is carry in case of two's complement arithmetic then we simply discard that carry and then the remaining bits for then we evaluate and the msb of that remaining bits which represent the result of addition if it is one then the result is negative and the result is in two's complement form 
so first we will find one's complement so it will be one zero 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 and with that one's complement value we will add one and now if we map this binary value with the decimal number system we will find that this value in decimal number system is nothing but 17 and here we have already found that the result of addition is negative that means our final result of addition in decimal number system will be minus 17 so this is how we add two negative numbers using two's complement representation next is subtraction of two positive numbers now here both the numbers are positive and we are performing subtraction but if we represent this operation like 9 and then plus of minus 8 so we can say that this is actually an addition of one positive number and one negative number and this operation we have already seen so here first we have to evaluate the value of n if we choose n is equal to 5 then it will be 2 raised to the power 4 then minus 1 so it is 16 minus 1 so it is 15 and 15 is greater than 9 8 and also the result of summation which is 1 so that means in now in this particular problem the value of n will be 5 now we have to represent plus 9 and minus 8 both the numbers in their two's complement form now next what we will do is we will perform the binary additions now what we can see here that we have one carry which is generated here so we will simply discard that carry and now if we look at the result and the remaining bits that we have now among those bits if we look at the msb here the msb is the value is zero so msb value is zero that signifies that this this number is positive that means the result of addition is positive and now the remaining bits that we have that will represent the value of that uh, addition or the result of addition so 0001 is actually the result of addition and if we map this binary number with decimal number system then we know that that will be plus one only that means the result of subtraction of these positive numbers or if we say result of addition of one positive number and one negative number for this particular problem it will be positive so plus and then one so this will be the final answer now suppose if we perform subtraction of two negative numbers say minus nine is one number and from that value if we subtract minus eight so it will be equivalent to minus nine and then minus plus, minus minus plus so it will be minus nine plus eight so we can say can't we say that it is actually an addition of one positive number and again one negative number but this time 9 is negative and 8 is positive but the process will be same for plus 8 we will find sign magnitude representation which will be equal to two's complement representation and for minus 9 we will start from plus 9 and then we will find the two's complement value of plus 9 and that will be the two's complement representation of minus 9 then we will perform the binary addition and so this is how we perform subtraction and addition using two's complement representation so i hope that uh, the knowledge that you have gained in this uh, class with that knowledge you can perform any kind of addition and subtraction using two's complement representation with that i end today's class see you in the next class thank you